This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Video Blocks. Nick sent us this question. I have a lot of large files stored on one terabyte hard drive connected to my home desktop computer. The files consist of videos, music, and pictures. What is the best way to distribute these files into friends' computers at, let's say, their homes? How do I set this up? I've heard of FTPs and FileZilla, a great program, by the way, but not sure how to set it up or use it. Any help would be appreciated. Sign Nick in Indiana. Nick, I got to say, you have excellent timing. So last week, right, we showed off BitTorrent Sync a little bit, kind of like a private Dropbox that requires very little configuration. And if you can download a file, you can set it up. But BitTorrent just opened up Sync, the alpha, to everyone. No waiting, no, no queuing, no email required. Awesome. Um, along with opening up the alpha, BitTorrent also added a few features like one-way access codes, uh, files basically one-way read-only, one-way nice. file synchronization, and some pretty uh, advanced preference configurations. So let me show you just how easy it is to set up BitTorrent Sync so you can transfer those large files to your friends. It, look labs.bittorrent.com, you go to sync, you hit the big red download button, and this pops up. It's pretty cool, because basically it's not just Windows and Mac, but they've got Linux ARM, Linux PowerPC, i386, x64. Um, they pretty much want it to run on anything you have hardware for. And if you can hit a red button, you can download. And, you know, you go to install your software and you get this. If you received a secret from another device, please enter it below, otherwise select standard setup. So, normally we would be doing a standard setup. If it's your first machine, you do a standard setup. But I have a secret, which is really creepy to say on the internet. <laughs> sure you do. <laughs> All right, B. Michael Hand basically is inviting me to access his BitTorrent sync configuration. So the secret is the giant pile of gibberish DDBP627WJK74TXSJ. You've given up your secret. Well, basically, so now I can download or share files with them. So totally. it's pretty simple. I drop my secret in, I hit next. Uh, I can basically choose the folder I want to sync. At this point, I'm going to keep it to BT Sync so I don't end up sharing my life with Michael. Not that that would be such a bad thing, uh, but who knows what's on this machine. And basically, boom, all I got to do is hit next. I'm going to skip the tour. I'm going to skip the tour. And this is BitTorrent Sync. And look at this. These are all the files that I am syncing from Michael's machine. Bam! And this is kind of incredible, right? Because um, we have an insane network in the Rev3 offices. Our man in IT, a.k.a. Reed, the security zealot, has a lot of, <laughs> I will affectionately call it, firewallish stuff going on. He wants our network to be safe. And if this can work through our network, it'll definitely work for you. I think so, you just made a lot of college kids happier. This is pretty cool. So basically, if <laughs> students, I students, not kids. If please. I double click on the folder, right, I can go to advanced and I can basically share the file. I can make it read only. Um, I can I do like it one that. time, so I can create it. If I have like, if I have a video from the party last night and I want to share it with three friends and pretend they're not going to upload it to Facebook, I can make it read only in a one-time or, or any collaborative environment. You yeah. just want to protect the original <laughs> source file to make sure that somebody doesn't delete it or erase it or alter it. Make a copy and then edit that. That's what yeah. you should be doing, but sweet we, stuff, man. We have at least one serious coding friend that has some big questions about BitTorrent as a back end. Um, he's developed with BitTorrent, and he's always kind of uptight about any time, quote, uh, an official set of specs is basically controlled by one guy who, of course, is inside BitTorrent. Um, we're going to get him to expand a little bit more on that, but at this point, you know, there, I don't think there really is an open source equivalent to this, but if there is, no. you know what I'm not aware of information. One. Open source equivalent to BitTorrent, or better than BitTorrent Sync, put it in the subject line, email it to techzilla at revision3.com. Looking for the elements to kick your next project up a notch? You should be over at videoblocks.com. Videoblocks offers everything from After Effects templates to motion backgrounds, virtual sets, production musics, and more. And it's all royalty free, so you can use the clips however you'd like. Videoblocks has over 100,000 stock video and audio clips, and constantly, Constantly, people, they're constantly adding new content every single month. Need a slow motion explosion or a beautiful sunset time lapse? They've got it, and it's in HD, too. Videoblocks.com was built by filmmakers for filmmakers. Go to videoblocks.com slash techzilla to learn more and get seven free days of complimentary downloads. No promo code needed. Videoblocks.com slash techzilla. Go there today.